Hello and welcome, this is Eagle Eye 621 and what you see behind me is a simple but maximum efficiency and maximum output cooked chicken farm. You can make this to have your raw chicken, which I'll show you as I go along, but I do like this in terms of simplicity because it's fully automatic food and chicken is really good enough for your early game to just grab a stack and go. After I show you this farm, I will also show you that thing right there behind me, which is sure to get you banned from a server quite fast. But if you haven't seen my last video, that may be new to you. And speaking of that last video, I'm not going to dwell on the information I gave out before. I'm just going to quickly through these pages and you can pause and read or I will link to that last video. But the important information is down here. And this is your maximum number of seed chickens, which is 65. And you'll see what that means as we go along. So let's get started by showing you how to build it and the materials you need. But if you could take a moment to just click that like button, it would be much appreciated. As well as checking to make sure Google hasn't unsubscribed you. Now, these are the materials that you're going to need, and I will explain. You need a dispenser, and this does have to be a dispenser. It can't be a dropper. You're going to want a half slab of any variety, and then 21 building blocks. You can choose between the stone or the glass. I happen to like some stone in the front and glass in the back. You don't need that much of each. And then you can also choose between a fence and a trap door. And I'll show you how that goes. The two hoppers, this does have to be a sticky piston and a carpet of any color you want. The observers, the chests, as well as the comparator. And then you can replace these vines with a ladder, although you won't need either depending on how many seed chickens you want. And then you're going to want to grab an iron sword and put looting 3 and fire aspect 2 on that sword. If you want raw chicken, ignore the fire aspect, but keep the looting. And you are going to have to go hunting, though. You need to go hunting for a fox. And the easiest way to get that is to sneak towards it so it doesn't run away and grab it with a lead to drag it back. And then a chicken farm, you'll obviously need some eggs or some chickens to start with. Let's show you how to build this real fast. And you're going to start by going up a bunch of blocks just to get off the ground. And you're going to have a dispenser facing in some direction. The direction the dispenser faces is going to be the front. So the dispenser is facing in that direction. This is the front. Into that dispenser, we're going to put a smooth or half slab, just like that, a bottom half slab specifically, and then we can get ready for our storage by putting a double chest in front of that half slab and putting a hopper feeding into that chest directly under that bottom half slab. You can, of course, expand the storage as you want, and then depending on exactly your aesthetic taste, I happen to like the glass in the front and the stone in the back. So I'm going to surround this with glass. Also, if this is not glass, if this is a solid block, you can't open that chest. So keep that in mind. We're going to go up two here. And then one more, just like that. We're going to put a stone block right here so that we can put a comparator. Reading from that dispenser. And into a sticky piston just like this. And on top of that sticky piston, we have an observer facing in, and then one more observer facing in the opposite direction. This is a very simple comparator clock, which will automatically empty this dispenser, which is what we are looking for. But in order to empty it, we need to put something into it, which is where this hopper is going. And back here are your seed chickens. I typically like making this stone, but just so you can see it a little more easily, I'm going to make it glass for now. And this is where you would also put your vine or your ladder. It's not strictly needed, but if you're going to have more than 24 chickens, it is needed. Uh, and it just does help with the lag generally. And then in terms of your trap door or your fence, this is to make sure you don't fall in keep the chickens in there nice and safe but I happen to like this fence better because as you see you can't even intentionally fall in and get stuck there you can do both you can do either and then into this chamber right here this is the seed chamber 
you're going to throw some of your eggs or you're going to drag your chickens in here. Let's see exactly how long this takes. And of course, the curse of the recording. That one escaped through the walls, which is also why I don't like glass all that much. I'm going to cheat a little bit here and throw in some adult chickens with the spawn egg. And then we're just going to close that and keep them in. But this fence right here will do that. You can also breed those in order to make more instead of just dragging more in or hoping more get there. Now on top of this bottom half slab, we are going to put a carpet. Doesn't matter what color, but it does have to be a carpet. Even something like a trap door is too thick and it won't work. And on top of this carpet is where our fox is going to go. And once you drag that back, you can make a staircase in order to get the fox in. But of course, since I'm in creative mode, I can once again just cheat and throw a fox in there. You're going to want one that doesn't have anything in its mouth. And of course, this one does have something in its mouth. So I'm going to grab a very cheaty sword. Don't look if you don't like animal abuse. Sorry, Mr. Fox. And this one, of course. One more. Of course. This is the curse of the recorder. One more. And nothing in its mouth. Wonderful. The first try got a fox with nothing in its mouth. And to that fox, we are going to give this iron sword with the looting three and fire aspect two. When a fox uses a sword, it does also get the effects from that sword. As you can see, it is holding it in its mouth. What's going to happen is these chickens are going to lay some eggs. The eggs are going to be automatically dispensed into this chamber. And you can see that the babies are too short for the fox to be able to attack. But when it does grow up, as you saw in the intro over here, it gets tall enough, meaning the fox can attack it. But because of where all the hitboxes are, the drops will still get picked up by this hopper. You don't need a hopper minecart. And the drops go in here. This has not been running for all that long. And there are not that many sea chickens back there. If you won't have any issues with the fox trading the sword for the piece of cooked chicken, which will destroy your farm. And that's all you have to do in terms of how many chickens you're going to want as your seed chickens. I did show you the amount uh, that you can have as a maximum, which is 65. But generally, this is a put a bunch in and see what happens kind of farm. This chest will slowly start filling up with your cooked chicken and your feathers. And then you're going to obviously grab that chicken to roam around and eat. If you see that the cooked chicken is continuing to disappear, add more. If the cooked chicken is expanding, then you have plenty, and that's all you need. And you can, if you want to be a little extra secure, put an extra trapdoor right on top of that so you don't fall in. But again, that's not strictly necessary. Now, in terms of our server-destroying farm, let's take a look at what we have over here. Do not build this unless you know the server owner or you're okay with being banned. Now, I actually had to turn this off because it was starting to crash my world. And let's put it back so it starts working again. And you can see what's happening here. We have a large collection of chickens in this pool, pushing all towards the center. You can't really see it because of the mess of chickens, but there is some hoppers in the middle. And all of the eggs the chickens are laying are going into these hoppers which is being thrown into this dropper, specifically a dropper, not a dispenser, so that it can throw the egg all the way back up top here and get collected into this hopper so that it can get thrown by this specifically dispenser into this wall right here. And you're hoping that the egg does turn into a chicken, which will, of course, then fall back down into this pond and grow up and lay more eggs. What you have here is a little bit of an exponential growth. There are going to be some hard limits. You saw a baby right there, another baby right there. There are going to be some hard limits, and that is your hopper speed can only take 9,000 an hour. But by the time you have so many chickens that you're getting 9,000 eggs per hour, adding even more chickens, your server is going to be hurting. And when the server owner finds out that it was you that made this, you're going to need a new server to play on. So use it wisely 
and really use it as an example to make sure why we are splitting our seed chickens and our chickens that are being harvested is because we don't want to create an exponential growth that will eventually crash your game. If you found this video interesting, I would appreciate a like. Found it helpful, maybe even think about telling one of your friends about it or your favorite Minecraft YouTuber. And for more videos like this, do be sure to subscribe and to hit that bell. Thanks for stopping by.